Lewis Hamilton has kept his driving clean on track this year, but his old machinery has been damaged off it. A customized Pagani Zonda 760 that was once owned by F1 champion Lewis Hamilton has been subjected to a serious crash in Wales, dealing major damage to the vehicle but fortunately leaving the driver unharmed. According to Ethan Gale, who photographed the car in the wake of the incident, the driver of the Zonda, who has not currently been named, was driving the car through the Penmineback Tunnel in the North Welsh region of Conwy when he lost control of the car and crashed into the wall, causing serious external damage. While not written off, the Zonda will now have to undergo extensive repair work after the crash damaged the suspension, windshield, doors and rear bumper, among other parts of the car. Produced in 2014 to the specifications desired by Hamilton and emblazoned in a striking purple livery, the supercar has been on some journey since it was purchased by the British driver for £1.6 million back in 2014. This isn't even the first time the vehicle has been in the headlines following a costly crash, with Hamilton attracting plenty of criticism after crashing the Pagani Zonda into three stationary cars in the early hours of the morning in Monaco back in 2015. Now a seven-time world champion, Hamilton had just sealed his third world title off the back of the 2015 United States Grand Prix in Texas. Returning home to the Principality for an extensive stint of partying, Hamilton found himself in the wars. Hamilton was breathalyzed and proved to be sober during the time of the incident, blaming the crash on a driver error in which his foot slipped from the brake and clutch pedals. He went on to explain later that year that a lack of sleep and a fever had also contributed to his lapse in concentration. Speaking to the Sunday Times Drive, Hamilton had previously criticized the handling of the car, making his complaints about the Zonda's drivability known. The Zonda is terrible to drive, he explained. It's the best sounding car I own, but handling wise it's the worst. I got it in manual because I didn't like the Taptronic version. Despite purchasing the car for under £2 million, the 38-year-old sold it for a figure in the region of £8.5 million last year as he looks to cut down his emissions in line with his personal philosophy of environmentalism.